Hello viewers, my name is Wairimu and I'm here to introduce a very phenomenal woman, a woman we've worked together uh, in the social streets in regards to av advocacy on people living with HIV. This phenomenal woman has impacted a lot of lives in the social streets. Her name is Pascaline Peter. And before I introduce her, let's go for a short break and then we come back. Welcome back viewers. Uh, in the streets of social media, we have people who influence our lives. And most of these people, they really help us in actually dealing with our normal you know, routine and the challenges that we go through. And in regards to this, we are talking about people living with HIV. So on these streets, as you know, Pascal and Peter or Pasi Matreva on social media, she's been doing a lot of work inspiring other people. And before I actually proceed, Pascaline, kindly introduce yourself and tell us more about you. Hello guys. Thank you, Irimo, for welcoming me in my YouTube channel. You're welcome. I'm so humbled. Thank you for coming. Um, welcome to this channel. As Irimo introduced, it's a new channel and I welcome you all. Uh, Positive Living with HIV by Pascaline. In this channel, we'll be talking what has HIV, the journey, the struggles, the ups and downs, the challenges we face as people living with HIV. I'll be hosting several people in this channel. Those affected, those infected with HIV in the society. We will be getting stories with the struggles they have been through, the ups and downs. On we sensitize on a stigma-free society, saying no to new HIV infections. Yeah. Wow, that's awesome. So, Pasi, tell us, just give us a, a short bio. Unafanyanga nini? Like, are you a mom? Do you have kids? Uh, a short bio of just your life. Uh-huh. Pasi is a Kenyan woman, 33 years old, mm. turning 33 yeah, this year. Uh, I'm a mother of many kids, but I'm a biological mother to one. Those who follow me on social media know, know him. Um, I've been living positive for the last eight years. Yeah, this is the eighth year. But I went public about my status like three years ago. And it hasn't been an easy journey. The reason I decided to become a voice of the voiceless, for the voiceless, those who are living with HIV, who can't talk about their story in public, I decided to be that person they can talk to, that person they can go ask for advice, that person they can turn to when they don't have anyone to talk to. Uh, Pasi, thank you so much for actually agreeing uh, for me to actually interview you in your own show. So I want you to go to the story yako. Like uh, Pasi, ukiwa shule, ulikuwa shule wapi? Like where are you from? And how the journey started? All right. Like, me, my story yangu. My story is, I was, I was raised up as an only child, like I have no siblings, no brothers, no sisters. Nili Somea too, Shule Zakawaida, went through high primary school, high school, Kumaliza Shule, Kya College, Apakulem. Then, finally, let's say immediately after high school, I got married. Uh, I was in marriage for several years, not five, not six, Mingi to and I got a son in marriage, 
who is 12 years now. So, life was normal. Life was, these are two challenges that Kawaida has been a damo. But after 12 years in marriage, uh, I separated with the person I was married to that time. Um, it's a story for another day. So, I can say my life before the HIV journey, like any other person. I wasn't out here like I am. Then in 2014, that is when I tested positive. And the journey of living positive started. Sita Sema, my journey with HIV started in 2014. I won't say that because Yo ili kwa tu ni mimi, ni mimi ni likuwa najua ukimu yangu, iyo time, maybe and some other few people. So, it was that time, I didn't want anyone to know that muna ikumbuka tu hizo miaka, how the story was. Like the moment umejulikana, ukona kamududu as they used to call it, umekanya gawaya, moki ingo, you know, you know the names? Sure, sure. So, I can say, I can say that is when my journey started, mm -hmm. but that is not when my positive living journey started, no. Okay. It was just a normal journey. Mm -hmm. uh, to me, disclosure was... I never, I never imagined of disclosing. Mm -hmm. So it was my secret and maybe some few other people. Mm -hmm. time to kwa leo watu tumekaa kwa hii kirusi mnajua ile time tunasemanga ni masaa ya kukimbia kwa ceiling mm. ukisikia mtu amesema ni masaa ya kukimbia kwa ceiling ama kwa maboxer ama kwa handbags zile mzee unajua ngapo ni time ya kumeza da Madawa. time ya kumeza dawa so to me appearance appearance was a bit tricky because to some people wageni kwa nyumba mm. how will I even take the drugs mm. to some ni mali kuna watu ama si mali comfortable where people are that meant I skip, I skip a day without med the medication. Mm. And you being mwanachama mwenzangu, you know, <laughs> easy dawas you take uh, Yeah, appearance. Appearance. Yes. appearance means you're taking the drugs every day, same day, the same time, every day, the whole of your life, unless a miracle happens. Miracle si kupona, miracle maybe dawas zi kuja ya kuponya. So, with the poor, poor appearance, um, first line medication failed on me. Mm -hmm. um, with ARVs, it's gonna first line, it's gonna second line, it's gonna third line. So when you're tested, you are started on first line medication. They do fail at times. Kuna vitu mingi sana zinazafanya dawa fail. In my case, it was poor theorans. Like, ile tu, uko tu, mi nilikuwa tu. So, first line medication failed on me. That is three years after I was initiated to art. Mm -hmm. So, from 2014, 15, 16, 17, I was switched to second line. Um, now, that's a second line. Kama first line is the stress. Now, mm -hmm. first line. You people only take one, sure. one pill. Yeah. Mimi Apa have been switched to second line, mm -hmm. and um, I'm supposed to take like four pills a day. Mm -hmm. um, I thought about it. That is where acceptance started coming. Mm -hmm. I, I, let's say I had accepted myself, but I was not ready to talk about it. Because mm -hmm. the stigma, the stigma around us, mm -hmm. Um, as I always tell people, stigma, stigma, HIV doesn't kill, stigma does. So I was switched to second line. Mm -hmm. And that is where the journey of positive living started. Mm -hmm. But I didn't know whatever drugs I was taking, mm -hmm. I was taking an overdose of what I'm supposed to take. Mm -hmm. Which I didn't know until one year after. Because I was switched on second line. 2017, mm -hmm. September. Mm -hmm. The reason I ce celebrate September is Mimi Mambo Mingi Zangu Mbaya 
utokea September. So I decided to always be wrapping it with something good. Sure. So September 2017, I was switched to second line. Um, no, 2016, mm -hmm. I was switched to second line. Mm -hmm. And after one year in second line, that, was, that time my appearance was check. My viral load was check. Nile, mm -hmm. unajiangalia mbaka you like, you're proud of yourself. Yeah. You're proud of yourself. So, little did I know I was taking the wrong thing, the wrong medication, until, until I got the drug reaction. I can say that was another turnaround of my life. The lowest point, like kile, kila mtu anasema nataka kuja kukuona hospitali, but unakuja atu unapata you know, everyone was talking. You know, you know how I used to look like. Sayo mm. unakavilo ato kimi kitambo alikuwa wanaka. Iyo nile imefika mali, uwezi jifita. You know, people are coming to see you, and they are not actually coming to see you. Mm. Wanakuja ku, kuangalia. Maybe you had, you had an ex years back. Unashindua, ay, uyo ametoka wapi, anakupigia simu. You're like, ay, it's been a while. Where is this guy? So, at that point, I think I was going to Because people are already talking. I mean, I volume. I went public about my HIV status. Mm -hmm. Going public disclosure is never easy. Mm. I talked to my mother about it. Then... Mm. I was only informing her mm. I'm going to do this mm. for the sake of my sanity mm. and my peace. Oh, that's awesome. Let's take a break. We'll be back. Uh, for those who are joining us right now, we are here with Pascal, Pascaline Peter, who is actually unveiling her YouTube channel today. She's told us her story, where she started from, where she grew up, uh, you know, in, you know, like if she has a child and what have you. And, um, you know, I would want to ask you, let me take you back a bit. Um, you've told us how, like, you tested positive, but you haven't told us, like, like what did you test? Were you sick? Like, what prompted you to test? Before I tested positive for HIV, mimi nilikuwa ni shai pimwa hii ya kuenda kuza, which is a mask, which was negative, nikaza mtoto, tikaka, that was in 2009. My next test was in 2012. Hile tu ya kutembea, unaona viziti maali, unasama, ah, why not, I'm idol. Unaingia, ika kuwapua. So me from there, the next time I tested, mm -hmm. the one which turned positive, nile tu unakuwa to infection leo, to vidonda unakuja unapataka blister, unatoboa, una, yani tumambo tu, hile unawananga, you're back to the hospital like, ukona to vidonda kwa mgu, kwa mkono, those kind of things, to infection, to ishi, to vidonda, to ishi, so finally, my doctor told me, "I, is it in need of Rudisana? Can we do an HIV test? Can be ah, why not? Like me, me in Kwanajuan Kopoa. 
Jo, eh, mbona nisikue poa? You know? <laughs> yeah. So, and boom, mm -hmm. the test was positive. I, nikamambia, nikamutaka kwa shua kani yangu. Uh -huh. We tested again. Mm -hmm. It was mm -hmm. still positive. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Like, Lile, tuseme tuwa kuna mtu wana expecting guess in a positive result. Sure. So, me here ku kwa kwa to infection na tuishi nini nini ndio kitu ile ni push so let me ask you so you've tested positive did you start your medication immediately or what was that phase that you went through from ume test positive ulijikubali ama kulikuwa na watu wengi tunapitia anga denial sana sana unaona hizi hizi kwa results zangu so how was it the moment ume test positive ulianza kunywa dawa immediately ama kuliendaje so again September. Mm. September ndio I tested positive for HIV. That was 19th September 2014. Mm. Sasa, mm. I think it was on a Saturday. Mm. Um, na jasa hiyo umeenda umepimwa. So next utatumwa, uta unapewa options. Mm. You can go to this hospital, you can go to this hospital, you can go to this hospital. Mm. So, come Monday. Mimi si kuenda Nilianza sasa msafara ya kwenda ma hospitali ni kipimangwa. <laughs> Masema hai wale labda hizo kits zao zilikuwa mbaya. Mm. Labda. The last hospital I went, that is when I was told, nowadays there are tests and treats. Mm. So you tested, you are put on ARVs mm. immediately. Mm. So, mi nikapewa dawa. Mm -hmm. Nimezipewa like... I'm in, I'm in denial, mm -hmm. I'm not accepting, like... Then, kunaka kakitu wokuwa, when you test immediately, mm -hmm. ni kama unajiambianga, hai? Jui yangu ni sahi, mm -hmm. maybe in six months, mm -hmm. maybe haitakuwa, mm -hmm. maybe in three months, haitakuwa. Mm -hmm. So, I was put on art, mm -hmm. I was, but I was still in denial. Ile tu unameza dawa, cause utaki wanze kukonda, wanze kujitangaza, mm -hmm. utaki wanze. But still, mm -hmm. you're just taking these drugs because you're told mm -hmm. you can. Me now go pa nianze ku change sura, mm -hmm. nianze, nianze ku jitangaza. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I started in drugs immediately. Wow. That is very awesome. Most people don't actually even accept to start their meds. So I have to congratulate you for that. That's a, that's a, a very good way to start. So, umekubali umekunywa dawa. Kuna part, ulikuwa unatupea story vile ilibidi. Sasa uongeze volume watu wajue. So, did you go through stigma when you, when you opened up to people? Or even before you opened, you went public. There's that phase whereby your friends or family walijua status yako. What kind of stigma through from there throughout until you went public? Tell us about the stigma that you've gone through. Stigma, stigma in this society. Mm -hmm. Stigma is what kills us. At a CHIV. Nile mekatu mali, mkorende. Unaona msi ya mekuja, amesalimia kila mtu. Ay. Mi, mi ya nisalimia mlaiki. Tuliko sana. Mm. Do we have beef? Mm. Then, you know, see, imagine, mtu anaeza kwa saku kusalimia. Ndi unakuja bade, unasema, hey, mi uyo, mm. na unanga anaeza. Yeah. So, uyo mm. kusalimia angi, ju unaeza mfanya nini? Unaeza muambukiza. Unaeza muambukiza ukimu. Mm. Uko maali, uko na watu, uko na maji yako. Mm. Unakunywa. Unaona mtu anatafuta mali atatoa maji mm. na we uko nayo hapo mm. na ujamnyima unakuja ku realize kumbe umsi <laughs> akunyongi maji yangu juu ya anaona utamwambukiza na mimi nasema tu ni ile anaona hii ni Nairobi tuko town maybe maji atakunywa nianze kusumbuka ingine mm. kumbe yeye atake kufanywa nini mm. taikuambukizwa mnaenda place like kwa relatives Mnaenda, you, you know you can tell, yeah. you can tell someone who doesn't, mm. someone who doesn't like mm. you. Who, someone mwenye anakuonya shatuka kitu ya ka, yeah. wewe ni mtofauti. Mm. So, yeah, stigma, I think, na zile indirect stigma, ile mtu anaku stigmatize, but, mm. nile, ati, 
wewe unafaa kufanya hivi wewe unafaa kukula hivi mm. ati kula mboga kula mm. ma- then i'm like kwani watu negative hawafai kula matunda mm. watu negative hawafai kufanya tizi mm. you know sometimes it looks like someone is caring but to me i call it indirect stigma cuz sure. you should keep fit whether negative or positive mm. you should eat well whether negative or positive sure. you should you know yeah, sure. such such things mm. so stigma and up to date hata saa hii from the internet hata wewe uko kwa hii mitandao umejionea like stigma stigma iko kabisa na stigma ndio ndio utumaliza hata si hiv itself wow most people actually struggle a lot with stigma more than anything else and if you're not strong actually you cannot make it through so you talked about um the issue whereby you your drugs failed so how did it affect your body did it affect your health did it affect your life just tell us about that uh uh-huh. when i said that was another you turn of my life mm-hmm. the lowest moments I found myself in this journey mm-hmm. you imagine sleeping a normal person mm. then kesha yake unaamka like those who have seen the photos mm. can know what I'm talking about mm. umeja vidonda kwa mwili mm. makucha inaanguka chini nywele zinangoka mm. you know like and I actually didn't know what was happening mm. to me maybe nilikuwa nafikiria nimefika ile stage ile sasa si unajua ile sasa ya ya kuenda sasa so mimi niko like naanza kuandika will niko na nini naandika naacha nini you know i know you know like lenyewe i think imefika time yangu ya kuwa macha inaanza kupotea kutembea huwezi tembea unatembea kidogo unakutana na nywele yako pale kucha pale you know ni ile minutes ni kama unaenda then inakuwa umefika ile place you can't hide mm. you can't hide mm. anymore so when I, st- i stayed in the hospital mm-hmm. that is when i came to realize the drugs i was on mm. i was taking the wrong thing mm. ah. so it was a, it was an overdose so you were taking whatever yes. you're not supposed to yes. take yes. so did you like uh, so after you've gone through all that so they took you t- they actually give you another like kind of therapy of medication or Uh, before we proceed to that let's take a break then we'll answer that Welcome back guys we've been hearing Pasi's story so Pasi tell us uh, sasa dawa zimekufail zimekufanya vile zimekufanya what happened after that ndio ukaanza kama ulibadilishiwa dawa zingine zimekusaidia and then after that utatupea story ya zile vitu tunaona you've been impacting people in the society what are you doing now what is Pasi doing now proceed thank you okay so um nika patanafu went back home with the right medicine and as i said hapo ikakuwa kila mtu anataka kuja kuona ni nini wasi wanaongelelea mm. pasi yako aje you know yeah. that time you stop taking photos you stop posting cuz manze vile vile situation ilikuwa so yeah then reach a point it was too much for me people are already talking then it was affecting me yes ndio ikafika hiyo point ya acha niongeze volume sasa mm. ile kitu umekuwa mkisema mm. and that is when i decided to go public mm-hmm. about as i said i told my mother about it mm. i didn't tell her nikimwomba ruhusa uh, i told her cause it was a decision i had already made mm-hmm. and guys going public about hiv was the hardest thing mm. that happened to me on this journey mm. but the best thing the best thing i can say the best thing now later that i realized mm. is the best thing that happened to me in this HIV journey mm-hmm. i went public the reactions were different from people unaanza kupata my friend request unaamka unapata 200 300 you know yeah and that is how i became public about my HIV status mm-hmm. and yeah 
Here we are today. Sasa kuna ile kazi umekuwa ukifanya after umekuja public. Ni nini umekuwa ukifanya ku impact watu positively? Do you have people who follow you? Like what kind of things do you like go through as a, as a person? One of the reasons I went public about my HIV status. Mm -hmm. Having someone people can talk to sure. when they need to talk about HIV. Mm. That is something or someone I didn't have my time. Mm -hmm. I didn't have someone to talk to. Mm -hmm. Then I said, why not? Vile nimekuwa nikiumia kwa roho, apa kosi mtu mwingine pale nje and are going sure. the same thing. And to my shock, trust mm -hmm. to me, mm -hmm. after I went public, the first week, nilipata DMs kama 200. Wow. People going through the same thing. Wow. Yani mbaka mtu najua, nakuja nakuambia, unajua ata mina kuanga hivyo. You know? <laughs> yeah. Mtu mekua mkishinda na ya, nakuja nakuambia, unajua ata mina kuanga hivyo. Mm. So then I was like, hey, hii chama watuko wengi, ni vile people don't talk, people <laughs> sure. don't have people to talk to. Mm. And I wanted to be that person. That person ule... If you know someone in denial, if mm. you know someone struggling with HIV, mm. you won't be, maybe you won't be able to talk to her mm. as a negative person, mm. but unajua, niki kutuma kwa pasi utasaidika. Sure. I wanted to be that person, mm. to be that voice, that voice of that person who can't talk. Mwenye abado anaogopa stigma, mwenye abado ajui anze wapi. I wanted to be that voice, mm. which I thank God, I've been that voice to many. Um, I don't notice, mm -hmm. but nile tu na amka siku moja unambia, pasi ni uniki amka, you always run to your timeline. Niki, ikifika saane uja post, I'm like, what's wrong? Because that is what motivates me sure. every day. Yeah. When I go to your wall, the motivation, like, it gives me the energy yeah. to live another day. Awesome. So, sometimes I don't realize. Mm -hmm. But the response I get from people, mm -hmm. that is what makes me know I'm doing something. Sure. I'm doing something for them. Um, like in the recent, in the recent cases of ARVs, mm -hmm. like, tunakosa kitu kama dawa, tunakosa test kits. Kuna ule mama pale, ajui ya naezaanza wapi. And I'm that person who is willing to go an extra mile. Sure. Let me go, nitupiwe tia gas. Ni rusho kwa la, la, kwa hizo land cruiser mm -hmm. na hizo mamaria mm -hmm. like I know many can do this but let me do this for them. Mm. Ukienda hospital upewe dawa za wiki mbili. Na umeandikwa tuseme wewe ni house girl mm. mahali. What did these people expect you utakuwa unaomba ruhusa kwa nyumba ya wenyewe mm. every two weeks? Mm. Those things those are the things I want to talk about. Wow. That vulnerable person. Mm. Down there on the sl in the slums, mm. like our jui wananza wapi. You just go. Unambia watu hamko peke nyu. You, yani com impacting community lives. Awesome. Like just working, just working for the community for that person living with HIV. There na samanga kuna siwezi. I can't work for everyone. But in Afkamali, unaona, people living with HIV, hawana watu mm. wengi wakuwa ongelelea. Mm. Reason I concentrate so much on them, mm -hmm. that person living with HIV. Mm. Unakuja unasema, negatives ni wengi, mm. this case involves a negative person. Mm. For this person to get help, ni raisi sana. Mm. But for this person who is HIV positive, mm. they don't have that... I wanted to be that person. I wanted to be that person. They know if I'm in a fix about this thing, if I need to talk to someone about what I'm going through, someone who will understand me, someone who has been on my shoes, sure. you know, yeah. in my shoes. I wanted to be that person. Wow. And I just thank God. Mm. I turned out to be what I didn't expect. Yani nile, si kuona, si kuona itakuwa. Sikuona timi kuna, yani sasa mimi pasi mimi kuna ule mtu anasemanga, kama siyo wewe, singe kuwa, singe kuwa hapa mm. sai, kama sing, siyo wewe, singe wa ipimu wa HIV, mm. kama siyo wewe, mm. you know, know, like those, those kama siyo wewe, there are things I never expected, I never thought like, yani tu mimi mwana, mse yetu ordinary, unajua, mm. yeah, like I'll be, 
I'll be a reason that person mm -hmm. is pushing. Sure. That person wants to live. It's mm. the reason that person, you know. I understand. Yeah. So in regards to that, are you like working with an organization? Are you in a group of people? Because I am, you are an advocate and an activist as well. So what are you guys doing? Is there something that you're doing? Yes. Uh, for those who have been on my timeline for long, you've seen AFCO, Advocates of Hope for the Community. It's a group of activists. Those are public about their HIV status. We came up with AFCO to, to, be, to impact the community and the lives of people living with HIV in the slums, yeah, the vulnerable people. So, yeah, well, to now we just try where we can. And I thank God so far, so good. Nile unajuanga. If kama kuna mtu unataka unajua in that group unajua hata nikiongelesha pasi akose kujibu sitaongelesha huyo mwingine akose kujibu mm. like yeah yeah that's awesome so just tell the viewers like what do you want to tell them to, 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 to for them to feel they're inspired what what could you tell them that you think that you want to put across out there one there is life after her positive hiv test it's not a death sentence Squeeze the sicker kitambo at you sharpie ma na. We should say not to new HIV infections. Wrap it if you don't know your partner's HIV status. Kumeza izi dawa bari kuangi raisi. Um, na biangawa tu igari oki mu imeja atutaki. Sisi ata wenye we dawa zani ziko Kenya zi tutoshi. So na imagine wengine kujia kujingiza. You know. You know, yeah. safe sex, S so we say no to new HIV infections. Mm -hmm. There is life after a positive test. Mm -hmm. Did you know your status? Mm -hmm. Love yourself, Jikubali, accept yourself and live a positive life. Mm -hmm. And with all that, we'll, we'll, we'll reach to a stigma-free society. I know it's not easy. Mm -hmm. But we are not where we were five years ago. We were not where we were four years ago. Mm -hmm. Stigma is in a kosa kuisha leo. But yeah, we are hopeful. Penye tuko saitsi penye tulikuwa. Just stigma free society. Okay, that's awesome. That's that's a very good thing. So uh, I think you'd want to tell the viewers if like they need to reach you, if they feel they are hope hopeless, like how can they reach you? You know, like at times there are still people who we have new infections. So, kila siku lazima tukona new infections. So, you know, there are people, like those people who feel like, manze, I'm, I'm done. Like, this is the end. Just s tell them something. Um, my DM on all social media platforms, Pasima Trevor, Pasi P A W S Y Ma M A, Trevor T R A V O R, Instagram, Facebook, I will messages daily. So, I'll definitely see your DM the day you inbox it, unless, unless it were too nearly a bad day, that we are online. You can inbox me about anything, what's bothering you. And, yeah, I can, I, I always assist where I can. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure to host you and i wish you all the best and guys as you heard she's an a very phenomenal woman she inspires people and continue supporting her and following her thank you so much until next time bye